Hi Capricorn, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot and Carmela. She's sitting right beside me right now. I'm here to do your July 2020 reading. I want to thank you for all the views and likes and all the ways you helped me. I really appreciate it. I got a lot of views from you last month, you guys. So, what does July have in store from you? Right now, the moon is all in Capricorn. And, oh, geez, there's all these eclipses and everything else. The energy is really shifting and changing. And I mean it's changing things and people's perception and everything, eh? There must be a reason why I'm talking about this. It's probably going to come up in your reading somewhere. Oh, I've got something in my eye, like a hair. And, um, so let's have a look, see what's going on. Um, I'm dog sitting and house sitting right now at my girlfriend's log house. Beautiful place. I'm very lucky to be able to enjoy it. So, and it's kind of good because she's got internet. Oop. Oh, look at that. Look what you got, the fool brand new this is beginning a brand new chapter of life the major arcana and this is the very first card is the big picture the big moves we make that that cause ripples for years you know so you're opening you're beginning something brand new which means you've been closing doors you know and uh this is uh something a brand new chapter of life now this could be because we go in cycles right seven year cycles approximately so you could be starting a whole new life cycle here right let's see what's going on oh yeah so I'm taking out some extra cards because I missed the cartomancy videos in the middle of the month I was building my deck out at my trailer I built an 18 by 10 deck. I designed it. I ordered all the supplies and I built it myself. And I'm really darn proud of it. It isn't perfect, but it is my first, you know, huge project on my own completely. I usually have a man helping me this time. I didn't. So anyway, that's my excuse. So back to your reading Capricorn, your very first card in the past. I'd like I can move it back a little bit and hopefully you can see these. Is the King of Swords. You also have the Seven of Rods, the Star, the Sun, and the Three of Swords. Uh, in the present, you have the Hermit, the Two of Cups. The magician the chariot I love the Sun and the Sun right there and the page of Pentacles I love this card too um, and in the future you have strength the Emperor the two of swords the ten of Pentacles and the ten of rods you know, that makes a lot of sense because you have this fool here. You know, it shows that I told you, you're closing a lot of doors. You're closing a lot of doors because you're about to open a brand new chapter, begin a new life cycle. Sometimes the life cycles are where we mature quite a bit from, you know, all different points of view of life uh, in relationships in worth at it, worth at ethics how we deal with other people what we want sometimes can change big time where what we valued before we might have no value for us anymore you know because when you mature and evolve you you kind of need less you know you need less in a way but anyway let's get going your first card's the King of Swords. 
this could be an air sign around you in the past um, Aquarius Libra Gemini doesn't have to be an air sign could be male or female as well but this is also um, a, the energy is about being strategic this is the king so he's mature sometimes I see this guy as a lawyer or some sort of legal he's strategic he thinks out his moves before he actually makes them okay he um, also likes to you know he needs to see the plan he he is very deep thinker he um, he makes he makes decisions based on if it's sensible you know if it's sensible if it makes sense and if it's a good strategy okay um, also sometimes these people can cut with their words they're very they could be very to the point very honest you know and it's like don't ask if how you look in that dress unless you really want to know <laughs> so anyway there could be some sort could have been some sort of dispute competition um, with that person for you Capricorn it, it, there could have been you know you you had to stand your ground with someone and this is fight or flight you know you're gonna you're gonna stand up and stand up for yourself or you're gonna say this isn't worth it to me you know anymore um, so this is kind of a fight or flight and you're not sure if you want to defend this it's it's about being defensive you know so um and that's this might be your strategy that you're gonna you're gonna defend what you've worked for um also you have the star here in your past and the star is about healing replenishing regenerating you could be weary from battle, from always being at odds with others that you work with, perhaps. You know, this could be around work. It could have been very stressful. And so you need to replenish and heal. Your replenishment it could come from more than one source. And um, the star is also a wish card. It's the card of faith and hope. You know in the midst of difficulties and this is a difficulty you know um, and then you have the Sun it the star and the Sun beside each other is assuring success for sure <laughs> like the Sun is completely about expansion um, growth um, and and far-reaching like really far reaching okay um and then at the very other end you have the three of swords there's some sort of deception um going on for you around you there could be a third party or someone has been lying you know has been deceiving the other they've been lying they've been and and one of you is walking away uh leaving the other heartbroken you know i think that's the thing there was a lot of hope and and um but i don't think you want to be at odds i don't think you want to um have to defend yourself you know so um you know all this work that you're doing on yourself like i think you were thinking very strategically at first and you know um we're defensive but you went through some healing and I, and I, you know, I hate to be kind of, um, you know, putting a pun out there, but you saw the light. You saw that I think that you decided you don't want to be at odds. You don't want to defend yourself. You want to be happy. You want to grow. You want to um, expand. This is a very creative card, too. You know, it's about... 
you know, spreading the seed, right? Spreading the seed. Um, it's also at the time the sun is about handing down. Like the sun just doesn't serve itself. It 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 makes everything it touches grow, you know. Um but I that's why I think that you're strong enough to walk away from this now. Perhaps you weren't before, but now you are after the replenishing and the healing in the star, you know. You're stronger, you know, the sun. <laughs> It's, it's, it can do good and it can do damage. You don't want to burn yourself, right? So anyway, um, in your present, you have the hermit. This is deep introspection. Uh, it's, it's, you know, about thinking long and hard on something because it could be a decision that affects a lot of things and is long lasting. You know what I mean? This is long lasting. So, um, you're giving a lot of thought to possibly reconciliation, you know, there could be reconciliation here, um, you could be giving thought to, you could be talking to someone secretly and you developing some sort of, um, rapport with this person. I'm not saying there's anything physical going on, but you may not be telling people that, oh, I've been talking to so-and-so again, or I'm talking to, you're not telling people. You two are just sort of, um, you may be trying to work it out too with this other person. You may be trying to work it out because, hey, Ruben, stop. He barks at like a leaf or a shadow. Hey, Ruben. Stop. Looks at everything. <laughs> He's worse than Carmella, if you can believe that. Carmella, I mean. Ruben! Come here, baby. Come here. Don't make me pause the video. So. The, Ruben! <laughs> Do I treat? Yeah, that makes him come here. Come on up here. Come on. Come on. Um. <clears throat> So you, you could be, you're thinking a lot about if you want to work on this, if you want to reconcile, or if you want to talk to this person, this could be someone else. I think it's probably the, the person you've been dealing with. Um, and so you're thinking about this because you can if you want to. You can be with them. You have all, everything you need to make this happen you know you can do it um but you're th you're deciding here whether you should or not you know this is a wise choice it's not about if the magician is about if and it, it's saying you can the but the 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 hermit is if is saying should I? You know, like, it, is it a wise choice for me? Me. In, in, in the long term. And, and then you have the magician, or not the magician, but after the magician, you have the chariot. And the chariot is reconciling those two sides of yourself, right? The one side saying, oh my god, I, oh, I couldn't make this work. This, I, you know, we love each other. And the other side is saying, Really, you want to argue with someone for the rest of your life? You really want to live that way? And so this is reconciling these two sides to work together for the common goal. Getting in the driver's seat. Taking control and focusing on what the goal really is. You know, because honestly, we are a very distracted um, world. You know, we, we, we don't have a lot of focus. And, and but this is is exactly what it's about it's really getting control over your life not just complaining about things that you like or you don't like you're 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 doing something about it or you're changing um how you 
if you allow it in your life or whatever. But this is really getting control over these two opposite sides of yourself that are, you know, trying to figure out if the 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 coulds and the shoulds and, you know, um, if it's the right thing for you to do. Because you can have it if you want it. You can have it. It's yours. But should you have it? Should Is it right for you? So, then this line ends with the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is very optimistic. But is is um, wise at the same time. It's very youthful energy. Um, this could be an actual youth around you. Um, this probably is, it could be your energy, Capricorn. Very optimistic about something new. You have an idea or you want to put your, your bait in and just see what's out there. What if I wanted to try this? Would there be any business in this or could I do this? And so this is sort of, sort of putting it out there to see what kind of um, response you'll get, what kind of bites you'll get. And um, it's about something new, though. It's about something new, all right? Um, you want to invest in something new. The old way, like that's where the fool comes in, right? You've, you've, you've evolved or grown and you don't want to do... You don't want to work so hard or, or argue so much or have to do all this to live anymore. You know, if you have a new strategy and and I think that you want to focus more on um, um, putting not as much effort in anyway, you know, making more, working less. <laughs> But you're kind of uh, throwing it out there to see if there's any, you could be seeing if there's any market for this new thing you have in mind. Uh, you could be seeing if, um, you know, what, th 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 this could be a message that you're getting about a new, something new in the air that, you know, you might want to get involved in or someone wants you to get involved in. Um, the other thing, too, is the chariot suggests travel. So you could be traveling. You could be taking short trips, um, day trips kind of thing. Or you could be actually thinking about moving. Okay? Thinking about moving. In your future, you have a strength. Strength is about handling things with grace. You know, sometimes um, some situations, issues, get us really riled up. And the lion wants to come out and fight for it. And, and but some situations require, you know, kid gloves, as they say, grace. You gotta, you gotta kind of, you know, tippy toe around it. But I got to say that there's some times for that lion, you know, but you got to be able to pull that beast back in. You, you know, sometimes when you unleash it, you, it's hard to get control again. You, you get so furious, you know. So this is about handling things with grace. As a leader, you may be a leader. You may be a boss. You may be the father or dealing with someone I think this is you, actually, Capricorn. I think you have a lot of responsibility, a lot on your shoulders, and and I think that you are the one that calls the shots, you know, but I think there's some things that you need to learn to handle with more grace um, and not the, that lion, not the tyrant, you know, but the the calm leader that knows how to lead his people, his family, his community successfully, happily, too. Because, you know, they say, happy wife, happy life, 
happy workers, you know, um, can be very productive, are very productive. So, then you have the Two of Swords, and the Two of Swords says, there's something you're not seeing here, you're refusing to face, it could be a decision or a choice you need to make that you don't want to make, uh, you just don't want to do it, you don't want to have to decide, you don't want to have to pick. But you will have to face it eventually. It's right here in the doorway. You can't leave. You can't really seem to move without choosing. You have to pick up one of those swords to get out the door. You have to choose one. And and, and um, you don't want to. You're reluctant. <laughs> you just don't. Um, because choosing one means that you reject the other. Right, so there could be, um, and I think there's one that you feel stronger about, but then that's showing your cards. I get a feeling you don't want to show your cards. I don't know why. Probably this is the emperor. That strategic, you know, back here, that strategic part of you, and you are strategic, Capricorn. You are, you know, and you're patient. You can wait a long time for your plan to unfold. You can see it, you know, way ahead and all the moves you need to make. And you're very patient and very smart. Um, but you are, um, um, sometimes you just want things your way and you can't always have that <laughs> obviously right it's it's uh difficult for you so anyway um i think there's some things coming to an end here because you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of rods there's two doors um closing and and it's completion you know one you feel very overwhelmed. It could be where you work, what you do for a living, or a situation you've gotten yourself into that you feel alone, like you can't you you can't handle it all, or something like that. You know, um, but it is the end of the situation, and there is you almost feel like there's not a way out, but there is, right? It's again, you know, for you, Capricorn. Not wanting to see this other viewpoint, this other, it's, it, there's some sort of refusal in you to see the, the other side, you know, this, their view, you, you're be you're seeing it as an attack and perhaps it's not an attack. It's just a viewpoint, you know, I'm just saying it's maybe and i'm not trying to attack you either i'm trying to help actually to because once you see it for what it is um it's you know it's cause for celebration the ten of cups is fulfillment it's um it's um happiness it's contentment and it's very family oriented too, eh? It could be some sort of family celebration here, um, some sort of reunion perhaps. There could be a new addition to the family, um, but it is also completion of some sort here. Um, this, you know, you've learned all you can learn for the, from this. And I think partly This is part of the the choice, right? You, I think you feel overwhelmed, and you, and I think you feel responsible for everyone's happiness here. This is the responsibility you carry. You, you care. I think you carry it all, and you are overwhelmed, and everybody else is happy and and living, but I don't think you are. I think you're. Um, <coughs> I don't think you're ha you have enough happiness in your life. I think you need more. And I think that's what you're going to change. You know, you don't want to be at odds with people. You don't want to um, 
have to defend yourself. You don't want to take it all on. Be responsible for everything, the whole load. You're overburdened, okay? So this, this is the change that you're making, though. This is why you, you just want to put your cares behind you and run away and take off and start a whole new life. And I think you're just about ready. This is the decision that you're having a hard time facing to leave. I think, I think it's to leave. I think that, um, I think you could get back together, you could reunite, you could work this out with this person. You could if you wanted to. But I don't know if you want to. I, I'm just I'm just telling you that what I'm getting from this. I I think that um I think you want to be happier. I don't think you're very happy with what you're doing for one thing as uh, 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 for a living I think that it's very um, stressful and very uh, confrontational okay and so I think that's one of the things you want to change you might be um, think about retiring even you know because you got the Emperor and you got these two tens, so you could be thinking about retiring. That's a big life change, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. The thing is, is that you have the magician right in the dead center here, Capricorn. You are so totally capable, capable of doing just about anything you want. You're very smart, sensible talented, experienced, lots of things. The only thing you're missing is the intuition, you know, actually trusting it, trusting your intuition. Going with your gut. You know, you might hear your gut, but I don't think you go with it all the time. And this is, you can have you can have whatever you want in your life at this point in time, um, but what is it? But it, I think it involves walking away from someone, something. I really do. Anyhow, so you'll have to let me know in the comments. I'd really love to know, and I'd love to ha hear the stories of how it, um, h how it works out in your life, you know? Because sometimes it's different for different people. Oh, somehow my battery's not going. Ah, oh, dang. There's always something. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, so. Um, oops. Yeah, um, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. All are free and they help me a lot and I really appreciate it. Um, my apologies for being late, um, just had some family stuff and I appreciate your, uh, patience. So, take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.